Hey YouTubers, welcome back to NIME Tutorials. When you need to transform your data, calculate values, clean up text, add new columns, and more, look no further than NIME's powerful expressions nodes. These nodes come in two varieties, column expressions and variable expressions. In the videos in this series, I'll do my best to capture their essence, help you understand some of the basics and how they can elevate your work. My goal is to get you started with real-world examples and hopefully inspire you to think about how you can incorporate these nodes into your projects. I've created a follow-along workflow for these videos available on the NIME Hub. To download it, click the link in the description below. These tutorials are also available as articles on my new website, NIME.tips, if you would prefer to follow along that way. Because everyone's use case is different, I have tried to create practice data that assists in illustrating functional points and reinforces the foundational concepts I'm trying to convey. If you have suggestions for data sets to use in future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Let's get started. A quick note up front, be aware that the column and variable expressions nodes are available via NIME Labs, which means that NIME identifies these nodes as still under development. They have been NIME Labs nodes for quite some time now. I use them in my daily work, especially the column expressions node, and they perform exceptionally well. To put things into perspective, if you're coming to NIME from Excel, think of formulas and functions. In the expressions nodes, you'll write formulas and use predefined functions to manipulate your data. If you're coming from Alteryx, the expressions nodes are the closest you will get to the venerable formula tool. If you have a computer programming background, leveraging the JavaScript syntax in these nodes should be familiar, and I think you'll really enjoy the convenience here. If you don't already have these nodes installed, when you open the follow along workflow, NIME will prompt you to search for and download the nodes. You can also find them by searching for and installing the NIME Expressions extension from the file menu. If you have the follow along workflow, the data is stored in the table creator node annotated as practice data set. So you do not need to download anything additional. Just execute the node to load the data. The table creator node loads 28 rows of data I generated for these videos. As a note, the names you see in the table were generated from the website generatedata.com. The column expressions node is an absolute workhorse. It replaces the functionality of the string manipulation, math, and rule engine nodes, and arguably even the constant value column node, bringing all of their respective functionality under one roof, albeit with a bit of added complexity. The expressions you write use JavaScript syntax, and the expression editor includes syntax highlighting to visually assist you as you write by color coding what you type. You do not need to be a programmer to use NIME or the expressions nodes, though the key to success here is to learn and understand the syntax. You can learn more via the links you see here and in the video description below. Depending on the complexity of the expression you want to write, in some cases, other nodes may be faster or just more convenient due to their relative simplicity by comparison. There are nine forum discussions about the execution speeds between expressions and string manipulation nodes that work to illustrate this point. As you establish your own rhythm within your workflows, you may find yourself reaching for one over the other. There is a speed and simplicity to some nodes that make them just easier to manage and use than the expressions nodes. I'm comfortable with the syntax and approach in the expressions nodes, so I generally prefer to use them. Tip. The column and variable expressions nodes are configurable outside of connected data or variable streams and do not need to be in an executed state to configure. 
This comes in really handy if you need to see how the node is configured, but cannot or do not want to execute your workflow yet. When you first open the column and variable expressions nodes, you'll see five columns of white space and a large empty area that represents the expression editor. To get started, select the plus sign in the top left of the configuration window. Clicking this plus sign creates a new empty column called new column zero or new variable zero, which is auto configured to data type string. At this point, if you executed the node, you would see an empty column or variable with that default name. As you create new columns, you will see the default name counting up sequentially based on the last default name present. You'll notice the expression editor is now a large empty white space. Assuming you have data connected to the node when you select plus column and plus variable, you will see lists populated with your data columns and any variables that are flowing through. Note, the variable expression node does not have a plus column option. When you click plus column, a dropdown appears with a list of the available columns in your connected data set. Remember, the small letters next to your column names represent the data types of your columns. In this example workflow, the first columns are name, and job title, and they are both string data types. Tip, pressing Alt-C on Windows and Linux or Control-Option-C on Mac will also open your list of columns. Pressing the Escape key will close it. And clicking on the plus variable button or pressing Alt-V on Windows and Linux or Control-Option-V on Mac will open the list of variables available at this point in your workflow. Clicking on the plus function opens a list containing all available predefined functions together with their description and examples of how to set them up. As I've mentioned before, taking a moment to read through the example documentation and attempting to achieve the same results yourself in examples is an extremely effective way to learn NIME. To make things easier, the functions are grouped into six categories and all to help you more easily identify what you need. Additionally, the functions are listed in alphabetical order to make finding them much easier. A selected function can be inserted into the expression editor by pressing enter or by double clicking it. Tip, the plus function menu can also be accessed via the shortcut Alt F on Windows and Linux or via Control Option F on Mac and closed with the escape key. In the following videos in this series, I will walk through example expressions that will be helpful when you load, clean, and analyze your data sets. For each example, I've written some comments to help you understand what you're looking at. You can easily comment text in the expressions nodes by using two forward slashes, or if you want to comment multiple lines of text, start with a forward slash and an asterisk and press the enter key. The node will automatically place the asterisk forward slash end, and you can add your comments between them. The syntax highlighting comes in handy here as comments display as green and thus are not part of the expression. This gets you started. Now let's dig into some expressions.